Tasha K is confirming on her social media that she lost her appeal in Cardi B's defamation lawsuit where Cardi B was awarded nearly $4 million. But is it really over? Welcome back to the Campire Daily YouTube channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So we've been following this Tasha K and Cardi B legal battle for some time. And when we thought it was over because Tasha K lost in court and Cardi B was awarded millions of dollars, we thought it was over, but Tasha K was not giving up and was set to appeal the court's decision. We had been waiting for an update in regards to what was happening. Cardi B was actively trying to get her money. And as you know, Tasha multiple times taunted Cardi B about not having the money. And there were allegations that allegedly Tasha K had moved $800,000 out of the country and that she was hightailing it out of Atlanta and moved to Florida. And apparently efforts to get money from the Chase bank account that she had, uh, reportedly she only had like $1,000 in that account. And she literally made a video of her going to this bank, not necessarily showing us actually the the withdrawal receipt, but a blank one, and saying that she was gonna give that money away, money away to one lucky viewer. So as you know, this battle between Cardi B and Tasha K stems years back from rumors that Tasha K talked about on her channel. And according to what played out in the court, it appeared that Tasha admitted that some of what she said was not true. Cardi B had to submit all kinds of very personal information just to prove some of the accusations that Tasha had reported on were false. After the decision was made that Tasha K would have to pay Cardi B millions of dollars, nearly $4 million due to this defamation case, Tasha, in interviews, in, a, in an interview right after, says, I ain't got it. She hosted a celebration with friends and, and was singing, I ain't got it. So according to Billboard.com, they write this in regards to Tasha K and losing this appeal. They write, a federal appeals, appeals court on Tuesday upheld Cardi B's $4 million defamation verdict against a gossip blogger who made salacious claims on YouTube about drugs, STDs, and other things, as you know. In a five-page decision, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit rejected an appeal from Tasha Kay, who had claimed that the massive verdict against her was the result of, quote, very lopsided presentation of evidence to the jury. The appeals court ruled that Tasha Kay's real name, Latasha Kibi, had failed to properly make the argument to the trial judge, meaning she forfeited the right to do so before an appeals court. The appeal court wrote this, defendant Latasha Kibi asked for a new trial saying that there was insufficient evidence for the jury verdict against her. But as she all but admits, she didn't make either of the required post-verdict motions in the district court. So she dropped the ball or her attorney dropped the ball? Tasha's attorneys has also argued the judge overseeing the trial withheld key evidence that might have helped her beat Cardi's accusations, but the 11th Circuit rejected that argument too, saying she never tells where in the 5,500-page record the district court alleged errors can be found. Because Kibi's brief falls well short of what we require, she has abandoned this argument. So in a statement to Billboard, Cardi's attorneys, Elisa Moore and Andrew Pig Piganat, Praise the court's ruling. We're obviously pleased that the 11th Circuit has affirmed the jury's unanimous and important verdict, which we believe was more than amply supported by the evidence presented in the case. As you may recall, following in the trial, where jurors sided decisively with Cardi B, holding Tasha liable for defamation, invasion of privacy, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. They awarded more than $2.5 million in damages and another $1.3 million in legal fees incurred by Cardi B. 
Judge William Ray later issued an injunction forcing Tasha to pull the videos from the internet. Tasha Kay, as you know, filed for an, an appeal last summer, arguing in her opening appellate brief that Judge Ray withheld key details from the jurors and the verdict was the result of a very lopsided trial. So what will happen next, you're probably wondering. Well, Billboard writes this. Following Tuesday's decision, a trip to the Supreme Court would be the procedural next step. Oh, damn. I hope don't give her any ideas. But it's unclear if Tasha will actually do so. The high court hears only a tiny fraction of the cases it has sent. And Tasha's appeal does not likely present the kind of closed questions that the justices typically want to tackle. I don't think this is worth the time or the money, Tasha. Don't even think about it. The news today coming from Tasha Kay herself that she had lost her appeal, it's interesting. But at the same time, I don't know if I believe that this is over. Like, part of me is like, okay, it's over. But the way that Tasha is playing this on social media makes me believe this is not over and she might be playing in our faces with this, Cardi B's face with this. So Tasha posted this on her social media. Damn, why knows? Sad face emoji. We lost the appeal against hashtag Cardi B. Sad day. But I'm gonna be all right. I appreciate all, all your love and support throughout this fight. Today we throw in the white flag. What happened will never happen again. To Cardi and her team, I apologize. Sincere. We live and learn. Champagne emoji. See y'all Wednesday on YouTube and TashaKLive.com. So, of course, I was like, I don't know. If I, is this really over? I, did, I just didn't feel like it was over. And then I see that she posted right after this a picture of herself with McDonald's attire photoshopped onto her. And she says this, hashtag Tasha K gets a job with a bunch of emojis. And then she says, I will let y'all what part-time gig I get. So I guess she meant, I will let y'all know what part-time gig I get so I can pay off this damn debt. Hashtag I ain't got it, but I'm gonna get it. And then she adds McDonald's, Wendy's and Burger King. She's asking them any positions available? Sad face emoji. I will do anything. All right, girl. <clears throat> anything but not be really serious about this. This is not some, this was a monumental case. When you think about celebrity news, when you think about entertainment news, when you think about defamation cases, this was a major case and a major loss for Tasha K. And a lot of attorneys in reviewing this case have said, they didn't see the likelihood of her winning an appeal. But I also don't believe that she has any intention of paying this $4 million. Especially if if it's true. And I, I think, I, can't, I would have to go back and look at all the videos that I've done covering this case. Because I'm trying to remember all the details. My elephant brain's not working right now, y'all. This is late on a Tuesday evening. But I'm pretty sure there there is some documentation. I believe some attorneys did confirm that money was moved but even the money that they're alleging that she moved is not four million dollars so what will happen next will cardi b garnish tasha k's money from accounts like her youtube because that is a major source of income for tasha k as you know since then tasha has made moves to create content off of youtube because here today, gone tomorrow with YouTube. For all you fellow content creators, if you do not have some other means of income, YouTube could decide tomorrow to take your YouTube tip page or demonetize it. So we had already seen with Tasha K that she was starting to move everything to her own website and other websites to make money that way. But it wouldn't shock me that Cardi B is going to do everything in her power because she has the time and she has the money to get this money. And I also wouldn't be surprised that once she does get this money, that she's just going to give this money away. 
Guys, I want to know your reaction to the news that Tasha K has lost her appeal, but seems to be making a joke about it on social media. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the